what's up guys? Uh, it's Mix, your kids eat. Today I'm in Uptown in DC, about to uh, check out uh, Taqueria Habanero. So I've lived um, in Nova, uh, DC area for about five years now, always looking for a Mexican restaurant. The only location that I've been to is the one on uh, Bryant Street. I guess that's their uh, sister location. Tasted Mexican food before? I've had a ton of Mexican food before, but what I do love are ground beef tacos, man. I know that's like the most basic kind of thing, but the meat, cheese, tortilla, hard or soft, I don't differentiate. And tostadas, dude. Um, one time I had a uh, salmon tostado at this joint in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I think it was called Bumblebee Baja Grill. <laughs> Having moved, from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, where I was stationed at, uh, my first Air Force assignment. That's the pinnacle, and that's what I uh, unfortunately compare everything to. I've been on the hunt uh, for uh, finding a solid go-to Mexican place, um, but one that's like just fun, vibrant, um, and all about the people. And here we are. <laughs> it smells amazing. Small, like intimate kind of space here too. Um, definitely dig it. Uh, the music, the smell. I wish you all could smell this. But instead of wishing you all could smell this, you can come here yourself. All family owned, um, so it's pretty cool to see um, how they transition from starting off um, in a parking lot to establishing a uh, family owned, family run uh, joint here. I love the, uh, the food, you know why? Because I'm from Mexico. Okay. And the food, they, the way they started, Where on my board it was just like making it hard from the from the bar, like, like my mom. Yeah, like all straight up authentic. Yeah. yeah. So when I met them, it was, and I was, man, fuck up. That's him. When we first met, it was 12 years ago. He was selling food on the parking lot. And now he's here. What's your favorite item on the menu? What, what do you lengua. What do you love? Uh, lengua, the tongue. Okay. And you're from LA. Are you from LA? Um, am I from LA? No, I'm from uh, Kansas City. I just uh, like the hat because it's a uh, yeah. green. <laughs> you go to like any Mexican restaurant, what is the first thing that's always dished out? Chips and salsa. The heat. Oh yeah, it's a slow heat. All right, fun fact, I'm a fan, huge fan of green salsas. That's it. I think it's about time we uh, start to get in. So on the taco plate, al pastor, octopus, cactus, um, birria tacos, um, and if you don't know what birria tacos are by now, you're missing out. Hard to find great ones. Um, a lot of ones are mid. Taqueria habanero ones, phenomenal. Chicken cutlet, um, sandwich, it's massive when they brought it out. I was like, I... All right, bet. The sopes, and then we got enchiladas, serrano peppers. Um, you asked if they, uh, if they were gonna be hot. If you didn't see me already, I was sweating my uh, sweating my ass off uh, with the habanero salsa. A little breading. It's got like a crispy kind of outside, but soft in the middle. Or when you bite down on all of this, mm, that's good. That chorizo is good, dude. I definitely want the lengua one though, especially homeboy who we met in here. Yeah, he's all about the lengua. Super tender. Dude, that does not give at all. Highly recommended. When you get the perfect texture, because texture is huge, and I'm a textured like dude, as you know, like the shit that I don't like are very like hyper textural. Um, but when you get the right ones, like this lengua and the flavor, game over. It's stupid. It's so stupid. How fucking good that is. So we're going 
going to Taco Town right now. Um, Al Pastor. Send it. It's so bright. Like it makes me happy. First thing I noticed, the tenderness of the meat. When you have like tender meat with flavor, it's amazing. Taqueria Habanero, four time consecutive Bib Gourmand. Um, absolutely crazy because that's not an easy feat, especially in Washington, D.C. Hyper competitive. Um, and when you're looking for like Mexican food that's delicious, so far, I'm batting a thousand right now. Batting a thousand. That's a bold um, finger. Dude, I am batting a thousand. <laughs> Freaking texture and flavor, nails it in my book. And then vibe and music, you're good. The octopus is cooked, amazing. It's easy to jack octopus up, especially if you don't blanch it. You're just starting to get packed in here now. And that's how you know it's good. When you got people trapping to him. Flavor is really good. Honestly, I've only had a cactus taco once. A little fried cactus taco. This is not fried. These are grilled. But I love the grilled onions in it too. Which gives it extra flavor. If it didn't have the grilled onions, I think I would pass on it. But the combination together, that one's a good one. And it comes with avocado too, which I ashamedly drop. Don't forget your avocado. So I haven't had one since I lived in Albuquerque. A couple friends and I had late nights when we were uh, hydrating throughout downtown and um, got hungry. Um, there are always torta trucks, so sandwich trucks, and I love tortas um, and milanese sandwiches. So I'm actually really stoked. Like the first thing I notice is the bread, um, which is important. Um, this one is soft. It feels really nice, but you can see where it's like charred, baked. You already know it's gonna be good on the bread alone. All right. The best approach to a sandwich that's as thick as this is not to think too much about it at all. That chicken's good. That chicken's real good. Yeah. Can I take another bite? Mm. The rest of the ingredients on the um, sandwich, lettuce, tomato, avocado, crema. <laughs> There's a pickle in there. There's something. What is this? It's a jalapeno. Mm. But not super spicy at all. That is nice. It's pickled. Dude, even when you look around, like it's about lunchtime right now on, on a Saturday, you know, on a busy street. Um, you go outside, like when we enter the place, um, you hear um, Latino music all over the place. Which again, if you're looking for that vibe in that spot, 14, we're on 14th Street right now, uptown. I don't think I've ever been like this far um, north on 14th. I regret it because here we are right now, um, enjoying uh, Taqueria Habanero. Finally at the enchiladas, aesthetically, Look at that. Look at the plating, the rice, the beans, the enchiladas, the mole enchiladas. This looks like chicken on the inside. Cheers. Mole sauce is a hit. That's really good. A little bit of sweetness in there, like tanginess. And a little bit of heat. There's something inside of the, uh, the taco that gives a little heat. 
nothing too spicy, nothing too crazy. Highly recommend it. You come here for the first time, definitely order the enchiladas. Super filling, there's three of them. Comes with a side of rice and beans. There's nothing bad I can say about that. Um, it's amazing. Best beer tacos I've ever had was in Los Angeles. Uh, Birria Gomez, and it's amazing. But I already know that I love Taqueria Habaneros, Birria. And as always, you gotta dip in the consomme. If you don't, you're jacking up. There we go. Cheers. Yep. Gotta go green. There's a reason why they're four time consecutive paper bomb. It shows in the food. The staff here. So nice. Everybody is so nice. Super accommodating. This place is awesome. Definitely coming back, especially to 14th Street location. Absolutely. Just finished up at uh, Taqueria Habanero on 14th Street. Bottom line, everything was absolutely amazing. From the tacos, the sopes, the enchiladas, um, the enchiladas de moles, um, the lengua, the tongue, everything super flavorful. The salsa, green salsa all day. This one does it best. Highly recommended for these guys to bottle it up and sell that alone. Check it out, 14th Street, Taqueria Habanero. We've also got locations in College Park, Maryland, and Bryant Street in DC. Peace.